Welcome back to Coaster Hour, and today I'll be going over my top 10 most anticipated coasters coming in 2020. 2020 looks like an absolutely phenomenal year for roller coasters, and with the first few editions coming very soon, I thought that now would be a great time to get my opinions out there on these new coasters. This list will be based off of which coasters I want to ride the most, as opposed to which ones I think will be the best. And with all that said, let's get right into this countdown. Coming in at number 10, I have the Vekoma Suspended Thrill Coaster coming to Trips Drill in Germany. And this ride's name is very difficult to pronounce, so I'll just be referring to this ride as the Vekoma STC. And with four inversions and hopefully some really strong pacing, it'll be interesting to see if we begin to see these STCs pop up at other parks since B&M rarely ever makes their inverts nowadays. I'm also curious to see if this ride actually provides airtime, as it appears there are some moments that will try to provide it. This ride looks very intense and should be very smooth with the newer Vekoma track, so I'm definitely hoping that this ride is great and we can begin to see more STCs like this one. SeaWorld San Antonio hasn't received a major thrilling coaster in a long time, but this year they will receive the incredible looking coaster Texas Stingray. Created by GCI, this wooden coaster looks to provide some awesome laterals, awesome strong laterals, along with great airtime, and with how this ride hauled in the early POVs, I can see this ride being considered one of the best GCIs in America, right along with Renegade at Valley Fair, Gold Striker at California's Great America, and Mystic Timbers at Kings Island, that is of course if it is running this fast on a consistent basis. I also like how this ride will have a few nice head choppers, which should increase the intensity a little bit, and of course that tunnel should make for a nice feature. Texas Stingray has probably now opened as of when this video has been released, and I can't wait to hear the first reviews and of course eventually get my chance to ride this new wooden coaster. Candymonium at Hershey Park comes in at number 8, and I think that it will be a great fit at Hershey Park as it will add yet another high quality coaster to their already incredible coaster lineup, and should also be great at providing some great floater, lifter, and perhaps even ejector airtime. Also, that sideways airtime moment after the helix is extremely intriguing, and I wonder if it will give some nice sideways airtime, or if it will just pretty much give nothing. If it provides airtime though, that hill could be the highlight moment of the ride, and might make Candemonium one of the better B&M hypers, as the rest of the layout looks great, it just kinda needs that standout element. Either way, I'm absolutely looking forward to riding Candemonium on my next visit to Hershey Park. Orion at Kings Island comes in at number 7, and I know a lot of people will be surprised by this pick, but hear me out. I think that Orion will be an elite and incredible coaster despite its shorter ride duration, and each of the elements Orion has look incredible as there seem to be no filler elements. But to me, there are just 6 more rides that I am more curious to ride, and to be honest, these 6 might also be better than Orion. Some of the elements that I'm looking forward to the most are the first drop, which should provide stellar airtime, and you should feel like you are falling forever, this should be an absolutely awesome moment. The first outer banked hill, that may provide some nice sideways airtime. The treble clef, which looks pretty cool, and the speed hill that should provide some great ejector airtime. Of course, the sensation of speed you will get on Orion should also be spectacular, and if it were to have come out in 2019, I think Orion would have easily been a top 5 coaster for the year, but 2020 is absolutely stacked, so that is why it comes in at number 7. At number 6, I've combined two of Vekoma's new coaster models coming next year, the Firestorm and the Top Gun Launch coasters. Two Firestorms will come next year with one going to Vin Pearl Land in Vietnam and the other one going to World Fairy Tale Land in China. The Firestorm looks similar to an Intamin Blitz as this ride will feature a top hat following an intense first launch, many intense rapid fire inversions and transitions, and of course, multiple airtime hills. Two Top Gun coasters are coming to China next year as well, and the Top Gun coaster is similar to the Firestorm, but it has a completely different layout that also looks very intense, but fun. 
Both rides should have superb pacing, whippy inversions, and insane ejector airtime, and hopefully these cloned coaster models will make their way over to Europe and North America. Energylandia is also getting an incredible new Vacoma coaster in the form of Abyssus next year, and this multi-launch coaster will feature a track length of over 4,000 feet, a top speed of 62 miles per hour, four inversions including what looks like a butterfly inversion or a bat wing that looks to be very intense, and many great airtime moments. The top hat also looks absolutely spectacular, and throughout the ride, Abyssus appears to go underground through these mist effects, and I really hope that these effects are actually put in on Abyssus, as it would make the ride experience more unique. This coaster is similar in many ways to the two Vacoma models I mentioned before, but it's the better and longer layout that puts Abyssus at number 5 on the list. FLY or Fly at Fantasia Land comes in at number 4 and will be the longest flying coaster in the entire world, as well as the first one to feature a launch which should be very exciting. Unfortunately, a layout has not yet been released for this Vacoma flying coaster, and not too much is known about it, but since it will be coming to Fantasia Land, we can expect to see a lot of theming and some incredible near-miss elements, which is what the Intamin Blitz coaster Tehran and B&M Inverted coaster Black Mamba both excel at. We may even have a pre-show before you go up the lift hill, as it is expected that Fly will load passengers in a seated position and will rotate riders into a flying position right before going up the lift hill. Despite the limited information we have on Fly, this ride will undoubtedly be something special when it opens. At number 3, I have Six Flags Great Adventure's newest coaster, Jersey Devil Coaster, and this RMC Raptor looks absolutely insane. In the back row, that first drop should be absolutely incredible and provide some crazy ejector airtime. The dive loop will be fantastic like the one on Railblazer, the Zero-G stall should provide some incredible hang time, and all the airtime hills should feel like Ejector City, especially that airtime buffet at the end that has four back-to-back -back airtime hills that look absolutely relentless. It's crazy to think that Six Flags Great Adventure is going to have both El Toro and Jersey Devil in the same park, as both rides look like some of the absolute best coasters in the entire world, so if you're a fan of Six Flags Great Adventure, you're definitely going to want to check out this new RMC creation. My runner-up is Pantheon, a new Intamin Blitz coaster coming to Busch Gardens Williamsburg, and I think this may become the best Blitz coaster after it opens, as it is going to feature four launches, which is absolutely insane, and some really awesome elements, including the first Zero-G roll that looks really fun, the vertical spike that may give a weightless kind of feeling, similar to what you would find on Superman Escape from Krypton, just kind of on a lesser scale, the top hat that looks to have an incredible drop, the Outer Banked Airtime Hill that looks straight out of an RMC, the Zero-G stall that should provide some world-class hang time, and the final wave turn which should provide some nice sideways airtime. I'm also expecting this ride to have a few intense moments, so overall Pantheon should be able to provide a world-class ride experience. But of course, at number one, I have Iron Guazi at Busch Gardens Tampa, and this ride will be the tallest and fastest hybrid coaster yet, and many believe it will be the best coaster in Florida, myself included, and some people even think that this ride will be the best coaster in the entire world. We are still waiting for an official POV of Iron Guazi, but from what we know, this coaster will feature three inversions, including a zero-g stall that looks absolutely fantastic, the hang time is going to be great on this, a zero G roll that looks fun and also pretty whippy, and an inversion that seems completely unique to this ride, so that is something I am definitely looking forward to. There will also be 12 moments of airtime, and while this is less moments compared to a ride like Steel Vengeance, I imagine the strength of the airtime featured on Iron Guazi will be stronger, which should make up for that. The pacing of this ride should also be incredible, so all in all, I am expecting Iron Guazi to be an absolutely brilliant, insane ride that takes my breath away when I ride it. What did you think of my list? What other coasters do you think should have made it? Put your answers in the comments down below, and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't, as I am trying to reach 1,000 subscribers by March 30th, which will be the one year anniversary of my channel. 
For those who have already subscribed, I need you to spread the word about my goal and try to tell other coaster enthusiasts and friends about my channel. This step will be absolutely critical in getting this channel to 1,000 subs. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time here on Coaster Hour.